Hi there, it's Amy from Cakes With Faces and welcome back to my Gachapon series. It's my roundup of cute, funny and strange capsule toys from Japan. These are some of my favourite videos to make because there's just so many amazing Gachapon series. I just don't know how or sometimes why they come up with them. Now in the UK, capsule toys are mainly aimed at kids. They have things like cheap plastic rings and bouncy balls and on the whole they're just not really that good. But in Japan they're on a whole nother level. They're always bringing out new series and it never ceases to amaze me. So if you're planning a trip to Japan for later this year or maybe for next year, you might find some of the gachapon from this video, but by that time they'll have brought out a load of new ones as well. So happy gachapon hunting! If you want to see the rest of my gachapon series, there's a playlist on my channel and there's new Japan videos every other Thursday if you want to subscribe. I've temporarily switched to every other Thursday until I can get back to Japan and do some more filming. So here's my roundup of amazing gachapon from Japan. Banana pencil cases, what a choice. Which one will you get? There's standard yellow, slightly underripe, completely green, a banana starting to get spots, and then a completely rotten one. What a selection. It's like those pictures online where you have to pick the perfect cup of tea with just the right amount of milk. Which is the perfect banana? Next, chopstick rests that are tiny bodybuilders. These muscly guys will hold your chopsticks for you while they're doing their stomach crunches. The series is called Too Macho Chopstick Rests. They're just too macho. And look at the amount of muscle it takes to hold up your chopsticks. Well, maybe it does when you're tiny and the chopsticks are this big. The next gachapon is a strange naked little man with a gyoza as a head. Turns out he's a gyoza fairy from the manga Doro Hedoro. Doro Hedoro. Doro Hedoro. Doro Hedoro. I don't know how to say it. I haven't read it, but apparently he's invisible to humans and his job is to make the gyoza delicious and make sure you have the best experience eating your gyoza. He throws toothpicks at other customers in the restaurant if they talk too much and let their gyoza get cold, which must be why there's this one wielding a toothpick in a threatening manner. Next, mechanical shrimp and crab claws. They look kind of robotic, especially the shrimp. You can move the tails and open and close the claws and they make a satisfying sound because why not? Next, a tarantula. I don't like this one. It's as big as the palm of your hand and you can move the legs so you can put it in different poses and scare people around the house. At first, I thought these were just tiny retro stereos and boom boxes, but they're actually really detailed. They have moving handles and aerials and even a tiny volume dial. They come with little cassettes and CDs, and they even have cases. They must be so small, the whole thing has to fit into a gachapon capsule. The level of detail really is amazing. Next is a cute one, rabbits and playing cards. There's an Alice in Wonderland theme going on with the little clocks. They look so cute looking through the holes. And some of them even have tiny crowns. So that was rabbits and playing cards. Next is cats and printers, an obvious combination. These cats are getting up to all sorts of mischief with the printers, clawing at the paper and causing paper jams, or just hanging out while you attempt to work from home. And because it's Japan, there's also a fax machine, which they still use in Japanese offices. Next, mini pencils. They're on keychains, so you always have something to write with. Is it useful or is it just a scam to get rid of old pencil ends that no one wants? You can practice your hiragana with the coloured pencils, kiro and aka. And there's a mystery one. Looks like it's double exciting. Not a whole lot of mystery about that one. Before I carry on, just a quick reminder that my online shop is still open. I'm shipping orders every day. There's t-shirts, hoodies, dresses, my cupcakes and sushi recipe comic books enamel pins and lots of things that make good gifts if you need to send a present to anyone. Thanks for your support. Now back to the video. Next is a gachapon from the Nyanko series. Now Nyan is the sound a cat makes in Japanese like meow and Nyanko is a series of miniature kitchen items where everything is cat themed and everything is super cute. This is Nyanko Mart, the convini, the convenience store. It's really detailed. You get so many tiny pieces in each set. 
There's a till with paw print buttons with a barcode reader, a stamp and a little coin tray. There's a cabinet for the counter for the hot food that says hot snack, hot dogs with cat ears. And this is a tiny Oden set for the counter. Oden is a winter food in Japan with vegetables and eggs and tofu and things in a hot broth. You find them on the counter in convenience stores and it looks just like this. The whole set is somehow really realistic and it's just too cute. Next is a new development for the Nyanko Cat series. I'm not sure if it's out yet, but this was a preview image they released a couple of months ago. It's like a kind of Nyanko Polly Pocket. You open it up and it's a tiny ice cream parlor. And as with everything Nyanko, everything has cat ears. But that's not all. The capsule itself turns into a larger Nyanko figure. Could this be the future of Gachapon? Next, old traffic cones. They're quite weathered and actually pretty realistic. They come with accessories like an old glove or some dandelions. This next one is really cute. Hamsters and pancakes. Ham pancakes, ham cakes. And you can stack them up. I've always loved figures you can stack, even if it is just an excuse to sell you more of exactly the same thing. Some of the hamsters are climbing up and some are asleep like a little house. It's very cute, I'd definitely buy these. Next, dials from dial telephones, and they really work, so you can have the satisfaction of dialing the numbers round and round. Next is a gachapon you'd probably never think of, balconies. They're magnetic, so you can stick them to your fridge for a touch of luxury. The different versions have different types of curtains, and they come with different accessories, like a futon being hung out to dry, a satellite dish, or an air conditioning unit. Now we've seen how some gachapon have kind of mechanical features like little hinges or handles that actually move and these are tortoises that actually retract, they can go back into their shells. On the sign it's got a kind of x-ray to show you how it works inside. But it's a pricey gachapon, it's 500 yen, that's more than they normally are. They look like they're quite big so maybe they need larger capsules or they need a special machine or something. You know those cute barriers they have in Japan when there's construction going on in the road? Well, you can get a tiny gachapon version. Kawaii animal construction pole holders. What are they called? The title in Japanese says animal barricade. They really do have these in Japan. I've seen ones with Samuyo characters and ones with characters from One Piece, the anime. But if I had these gachapon ones, I could make barriers for my hamster although she probably would chew them or just climb over them. We've seen lots of gachapon that are hats for cats. They're very cute. There's been loads of series of them. And now you can get angel wings and bat wings for cats to suit your cat if they're being a little angel or a little devil. The next series is Kimo Kawaii, which is something that's creepy or disgusting as well as being cute. It's kind of an odd concept. They're naked mole rats in pastel colors and they're squishy. Now, I don't know if they're really all that cute. What do you think? Onto something that definitely is cute, mochi hamsters. They're squishy and they come in boxes like desserts from the convenience store. They're so cute. Some of them have sauces on and there's a little green matcha flavored hamu. And look at these ones, dim sum hamsters. They're so cute in the bamboo steamer with the gyoza and bonus points because you can stack up the steamers. This is such a good set. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this look through funny, cute and strange gachapon. They're always bringing out new ones, so there'll definitely be more from this series. And if you wanna watch the other gachapon videos I've done so far, they're all in a playlist on my channel. And I'll be back, not next week, but the week after on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.